Hello everyone, welcome to this Splunk tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to use various commands which are provided by the Splunk in order to perform search in a better way. We are going to see how can we use the command top in order to get the top items in the given data set. We will explore the stats commands which will work on the group of data set. The stats commands comes with the other sub subcommands such as count, distinct count and values. We will explore all these commands in our today's lecture. One of the purpose of this command is nothing but the presenting data in the tabular format. And as we know, if the data is present in the tabular format, it is easy to represent such data in the various charts such as bar chart, pie chart or any other type of charts. So let's go ahead and deep dive the search using commands. In our previous lecture, we saw how to search using the fields such as source type, status, action, etc. On this data set, we can run the commands. For example, let's go ahead and run our the top command. In order to execute any command, we have to use one operator that is pipe operator. So whenever we use the pipe operator, what are the next keyword comes, it is treated as a command. So the command which we are going to use is top. If you provide the top command and search this it will not return any result it is expecting what kind of data you would like to fetch in order to search the top result out of that so we'll use the the our previous for keyword that is category id and we'll get the top ca category ids which is present in the data set the data set which we have uploaded in the splunk has uh, these categories which includes strategy, arcade, T, accessories and so on. When we run this top command, it also gives the count of each of this category and the percentage. Now, as we know, this is a data in the tabular format. We can see this data in the form of charts. But before going to see the charts, which is based on this data set, let's see what options available under this statistic. It has the various formats. So we have seen our earlier lecture also, like number of rows we can show, we can show the selections, etc. And then there is preview option is also available. So these are some basic things we can do with this result set. Now let's go ahead and see what kind of charts we can show based on this data set. Right now, if you see, the pie charts is getting automatically displayed. So type of chart is suggested by the Splunk tool itself. You can change this chart as per your need. So the internal logic or the internal smart engine underlying the Splunk uses its intelligence to determine what kind of the chart will be best suited for your data set. In case you do not want pie chart, then you can click on this chart and select what kind of chart you would like to use. So there are recommended charts are already there, such as bar charts are there and other different kind of charts. If you select the bar charts, the data will be presented in this format. If you select pie chart, the data will be presented in the pie chart format. In case you would like to see particular categories such as simulation, accessory or strategy, you can just click on that category. As soon as you click that category, the result string will change automatically and the corresponding data will be fetched. Let's explore some more commands. The other commands is nothing but the stats. If you run the stats command and just hit enter, it will show us what are the categories with the data's corresponding stats present in the data set? As we know, the stats command work on the group of data. So you can 
run the count on particular attribute. Let's run the count on the product ID and search it. So we can see the there are total two, six, four, three product ID count present. If you want to see the distinct count, then you can use the distinct count and run it. You will get a distinct count along with your regular count. And let's get some values of this product as well. So the command for getting the values of the each product is values and then provide the parameter name or just provide the product ID and search it. This way we can get the product ID along with its account. So this kind of product might have be accessed through different client IP address. So if you want to know what are the top client IDs or what are the top customers who are you accessing this product? For that, what we have to do is we have to run another command called as top limit equal to one. And this will give me the client IP address, which is uh, having the limit one and run it. So this is the IP address, which access the count around 134 which is almost 2% of the total access. So we can run the client IP equal to this value and get the result. So these are the results set based on this client IP. There is another command that is stats which works with the particular category. Let's run the stats on the count of the product ID and in case if you want the count of product ID based on the client IP address then we have to use the by clause and then provide the the attribute based on which we want the the data and we'll run it so this will give us these are the IP addresses and this number of product are getting access by using these IPs. In case you want what is the product name, then you can use the values and then provide the product ID. And this will give for each IP address, what are the products getting access. So this way we can use the command such as top command, stats command, and with the stats, we can use count, values, or the distinct count. And we can group by using given type of fields. In this case, we use the client IP. Let's understand how can we use the subquery. The subquery will return the result. And based on that result, we run the, the primary or the main query. As in that, we would like to search the topmost customer which are accessing product. And for that, the query will look like this. The source type access, means this will be the subcommand. In order to mention it's a subcommand, we have to use the rectangle bracket and close the rectangle bracket. We provided the source type as access status as 200 action is purchased and we are getting the top customers and then we are presenting the data in the table format so this is the subquery and based on the subquery we'll be running some commands so let's run command that is the stats and we'll get the count we will also get the the distinct count of the product id and we'll group by based on the client ip Let's see how this query goes. We can see the client IP, which is accessing more number of products with a given count as 134, is listed in this result set. And if you want to visualize in particular format, you can visualize that data as well. Now this command is more cumbersome and it's very difficult to read. And if you want to format it it will be more readable so in order to format it if you're using windows system then use control plus 
and backward slash. So the command will be formatted automatically. So this way we can see the sub command or the sub search is automatically formatted and then it's a the next command. So this way we learn how to use the top command, how to use the stats and it's their sub commands and how to use the search command.